Hi, I'm Leia Richter of RichterWorks Web. I've been a web designer since 2004, but was not a big fan of WordPress until a little over a year ago. But I really am now. Let me tell you a little bit about it. WordPress was originally designed for blogs. People could enter their own content, and it was discovered that blogs were the best thing to have on a website for search engine optimization. Because they created fresh content all the time, it kept drawing back the search bots to re-index the sites. And because content was being added that used keywords, it enhanced the search engine ranking. Since I started my business, I have tried to find the best solution for the two things my clients requested, for which I did not have a reasonably priced or acceptable solution. Those two things were self-editing websites and good search engine optimization in their websites. Creative people found ways to build a whole website using WordPress, and because of the way it is set up, it gave clients what they wanted, the ability to self-edit. WordPress and client wishes was a marriage made in heaven, almost. For a long time, there were two huge drawbacks to WordPress, which can now be addressed by someone who knows what they are doing. It was very hard to custom design, and WordPress sites could be criminally slow. But first, what is WordPress? WordPress is a CMS, or Content Management System. All the content is stored in a database. It can be added, viewed, edited, and deleted through an interface, which is as easy to use as Word. Joomla and Drupal are also widely used CMS programs. Joomla is more widely used than Drupal, but not nearly as widely used and supported as WordPress. Drupal is mostly used on enterprise-level sites, although WordPress can certainly be used on an enterprise-level site, too. Prior to these systems, most CMS was custom-coded business by business. Databases had to be designed and coded, and if the client was going to be able to edit the information, interfaces needed to be designed and coded as well. They required experienced programmers and were very, very expensive. WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal have made it possible for millions of websites to use PHP-based content management technology. WordPress is a free, open-source product. The World Wide Web community can use it and build improvements for it, which are usually themes and plugins, but improvements can also include frameworks, which make it easier to modify both design and the code of WordPress. Why use WordPress? First and foremost, because it's search engine friendly. WordPress sites have URLs which the search engines can read. There are also many plugins available that can enhance further the uh, search engine friendliness of a WordPress website. There are also plugins that can create sitemaps that make it easier for the search engines to know everything that's on your site. Secondly, you can make edits to it yourself. Because WordPress has intuitive interfaces, with a little training you can make changes, especially minor ones, to your site. You needn't worry about writing the changes out, emailing them to a web designer, and waiting for the web designer to make the changes, and then send you a bill for it. WordPress is the most widely used and supported CMS program. It is estimated that one in four new websites is a WordPress website, and over 60 million websites in the, in the world are WordPress. Fourth, all the great plugins. What is a plugin? A plugin is additional software that's added to a WordPress site to give it increased functionality, to make it work better, or to add some fun. Some of the more co uh, Commonly used plugins are member directories, photo galleries, contact forms, and other kinds of forms on websites, plugins to speed up the site or to filter spam, search engine enhancement programs, calendars, e commerce programs, polls, and games. In custom website land, these things would be custom coded, or if a designer found a pre coded solution, they didn't really know how well it would work or if it would be kept up. The WordPress plugins are rated by the users, so you have a pretty good idea if it works. When choosing a WordPress web designer, be sure that they know how to overcome the slow site obstacle and have some experience and ability to customize and modify both the theme, which is the design, and the plugins.
This is an example of a customized WordPress site which is almost finished. The client rents furniture for meetings, trade shows, and special events. We used an e-commerce plugin to display their 300 items but customized it to remove all pricing and shopping cart information because the client only wanted to show their products. They did not want people to actually be able to rent them online. We drew boxes around the images and ordered the products in the same order as the client's order form so that it would make it easier for their clients to find the products. Their site also includes a slideshow of their finished work. This site has a customized calendar plugin as well. The client wanted a different look than the standard plugin provided and wanted the list view shown here to show the end date of the events as well as the starting date. For more information about WordPress, the web, branding, and other marketing, visit my blog, The View From Here, at richterworks.com. For more information, contact me at richterworks.com or visit Richterworks Web on Facebook. This presentation was brought to you by Market IT, the Technology Council of the Barrington Area Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for listening and have a great day.